Good morning from Vermont, everyone. Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to another video. So we are here in Stowe, Vermont today to show you some of the best things to do here in Stowe. Uh, we got up here last night, uh, just about a three and a half hour drive from Boston. So not too bad, beautiful <laughs> drive up here. It was so gorgeous. Yeah, and we checked into our hotel and started this morning with a really nice breakfast at the Skinny Pancake. It was so great. I got maple syrup because how can you not? We're in Vermont. Absolutely, it's with a thing to do crepe. here. Let's clarify, not just maple syrup. <laughs> and I got more of a savory crepe, which was very good very very good but um after our breakfast we have come here to one of the many beautiful hikes here in stowe oh my goodness yes it's called the sterling pond hike so apparently we're going to be greeted with a beautiful pond at the top so we are excited for it let's go do it oh baby we're starting with an incline already oh my gosh ben warned me this morning he's like okay i found a hike it's a little steep let you know and i was like okay I don't know if I feel good about it anymore, but here we go. Let's see how well that savory or that so sweet crepe will fit. Okay, we're actually up here for someone's birthday weekend. Woo! I couldn't think of a more perfect state for my birthday. Between the hiking, the perfect weather, uh, the sound of music relationship around <laughs> here, I'm pretty happy. Yes, we do have a stop later at the Von Trapp house, which someone's very excited for. I've already been singing the album, no shame. <laughs> <laughs> so it hasn't been too bad so far. It's really just these nice natural stone stairs all the way up. Makes it, you know, pretty manageable. I actually saw reviews of this trail uh, before we went, just that, you know, people take their kids on this, maybe, maybe their dogs. I could see dogs handling this pretty well. It hasn't rained for a couple days here, so it's pretty dry, but I've heard it can get muddy on this trail. Uh, but yeah, overall, it seems pretty manageable. We found a stream that's slowly trickling down the mountain that we've just come across, so it's kind of an atmospheric sound to have in the background. Mm-hmm. Okay, we finally made it. Sterling Pond! Okay. I think all this sweat Ooh, and hard work is pretty. gonna be worth it. Absolutely. Such a short time being alive All this hardship and convenience Makes it so hard to meditate I will miss it now I will miss it now So we made it to Sterling Pond and it is gorgeous. I have never seen a body of water reflect the sky so perfectly before like this and it's just magical. The hike ended up being a little bit harder than I think we anticipated. Um, once we got about the halfway mark, it just started going straight up nonstop. And I feel like we've been hearing other people too comment on this. <laughs> that like, was longer than I thought. Harder than I thought. <laughs> but again, I think this was worth it because this is just so nice. We've just been sitting here and just kind of enjoying the view and basking it in. Welcome to the Trap Family Lodge. Cool. We've decided to come to the Trap Family Brewery, and this looks so good. So we've gotten some beers. I got an Oktoberfest, and they've got a Pilsner. And right here is a Von Trapp Sports Sandwich. Yes, and before you go any further, yes, it is that Von Trapp family from The Sound of Music. This is so cool. Totally nerding out the Sound of Music. And then Ben got a Broadhorse and some... Bam! Spätzl. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so excited for this. I put a little half spicy mustard, half sweet mustard. Some of my bowl's experiences. Oh yeah, almost like I'm in Austria. This is really good. Really? Yeah. It looks top. amazing. I love having the spritzel here, the sauerkraut on top, and with the mustard. All around great experience. How does it and pair the beer with here, Yeah. The beer here is so good. It's a very authentic Austrian experience. Yeah, yeah, it's just really fun to walk into, like especially after going on a hike in the mountains. So what's so cool about this place is that it was actually established by the Von Trapp family. And so we just had to come and cross this off the list. At least myself, I'm a huge Sound of Music fan. I absolutely grew up on that film. And so it is just really special to be here. I really feel like we are more than three hours up the road. I feel like we could be in Austria right now and it's so impressive. 
the most amazing thing just happened. We met one of the grandchildren of the Von Trapp family. Her name is Christina. And I was standing in line trying to buy this glass and I was like, oh my God. I was like, do not blow this moment. Stay calm, ask your one question and then leave. I was like, how does the movie compare? to your your actual family story and she was like actually pretty good because it's based on her grandmother's memoir and she says overall like the names are different and the temperaments are a little bit different but like the story itself is accurate and she was saying she like her and her brother always joked that they don't they didn't get the singing gene they got the skiing gene but anyways it was just a really special cool moment to meet an actual von trap and i feel like i'm freaking out more than i should but it was <laughs> Really cool. So, anyway, <laughs> royalty. Royalty. <laughs> so if you don't know the story of the Von Trapps, they are the famous family portrayed in The Sound of Music starring Julie Andrews. And they uh, escaped Austria in 1938 because of the Nazi invasion um, and toured the world as the Trapp family singers. In about 1942, they came upon Vermont and it reminded them so much of home in Austria that they wanted to stay here. And in 1950, they actually founded this place. So they found this absolutely gorgeous view. Um, and honestly, if I were them, I would stay in this exact place too. They stayed in this exact lodge. And in the 1960s, they founded the first commercial cross-country ski lodge in the entire Americas, North and South. So um, they have been hosting skiers ever since. And they now have world-class cross-country ski trails, biking trails, um, frisbee golf, and of course the beer hall that you saw before. So, um, quick update, while we were filming what you just saw, um, Sam Von Trapp apparently was standing right next to us and over here heard us filming and was like, oh, you're doing a pretty good job at that. Like, what, what, what are you filming? And we're like, oh, we have a travel uh, YouTube channel. And he was like, well, you did a great job. He's like, do you want some free passes to go and explore the lodge? And we were like, Okay, that sounds great. So anyways, he gave us these passes, so we're gonna go in now and explore the lodge. And there you go. I mean, Here we it was go. just like this really bizarre, amazing Super nice opportunity. Guy. He was so lovely and so hospitable. You can tell that they are very proud of this lodge and really love it and take really good care of their guests. So oh my goodness, yes. Let's go explore. So to start off our tour, we have the lounge here. A small library. They have a so restaurant much. here that's very European. It's very white with a lot of wood paneling around here. A little bar and a beautiful terrace outside where a bunch of people are going to make their lunch right now. And here's the dining hall. It's exactly what I would have expected it to be. It's just very atmospheric and very cute. And a terrace that's open to the public. I mean, see these views we keep talking about? That's not too shabby. Wow. You guys, this place is so beautiful. I really hope that we can stay here one day to get the full experience, but it's been such a joy just being able to run around and kind of explore the land, not only down below, but also just like in the hotel and the lodge itself. It is so beautiful. And the fact that we got to meet so many Von Traps today has just been unexpected. Two whole Von Traps. Two whole Von Traps. It was so great. So hopefully we'll make it back here one day and actually be able to do a proper vlog where we're staying here wink Von Trapp family but um <laughs> this has been great but right now I am super hot so I think it's time for a little paddle boarding. Is it warm? How you doing Rachel? After that amazing paddleboard adventure, we are here for some more beer, round two, at The Alchemist. So we've heard this place recommended multiple times, both from my coworkers and even locals here. So we're excited to try out the beer here. Let's go. This place is cool. This is super cool. I love how it's just all outdoors. This is sweet. I wonder if they actually have a tap room inside. It doesn't really look like it. It doesn't seem like it, at least right now. It seems like it's just closed and curbside yeah. for the moment, but this is great. So let's go find a spot, I guess. Oh, beer's only $6. That's not bad. 
Enjoy your beer. Appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. I love how Brie brought their own launchers here. That's I awesome. know. I think it's wonderful. Yeah. All right, ma'am. All right. So what did you get? Well, you got the Kenny's Kolsch. Which I'm excited. She said it was like the lightest beer here, very crisp. I know I like like Pilsner's Kolsch um, beers as well as like Oktoberfest are usually my go-tos. You can't go wrong with the They're really famous here for their hoppy beers. So Yeah, so they I can't remember the name of the two they distribute more widely, but this is one that apparently has a pretty good following. It's the Crusher. So it's an American double IPA. So it's going to be pretty hoppy. 8%. You might be driving. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good to know. Uh, woo! Cheers. Yes, cheers. All right. That's hoppy, but it's good. Oh my god, I love mine. Oh yeah? I actually love that. It's it's actually weirdly sweet. Ooh, that is really good. It is really good. Again, this spot's amazing because you can see the mountains over there. Um, this beautiful yard. Looks like even a little frisbee golf over there. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. great. So we are going to enjoy these beers, probably get some dinner after this, and we'll see you in the morning. Cheers. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> I had the same reaction. <laughs> There's everyone. It's like 11 a.m. and we got here basically 10 minutes right after it opened and the line is already like way out there. It's crazy. Everyone had the same good idea to get ice cream on their way out of town. Yep, it is the thing to do apparently. <laughs> I just had a chocolate muffin and a vanilla ice latte and now I'm having ice cream. <laughs> what a way to start the day. Breakfast of champions. just got our ice cream and it is so good. It's a bourbon butter whiskey based ice cream with blowny, blonde brownie. <laughs> with blonde brownie bites in it and there's something else in caramel yes. as well. And it is, it's already melting but it is super delicious and she was saying that like it's not necessarily in all stores right now, it's a new flavor. So it's been really fun to try it here at the Ben and Jerry's like main facility. San and Jerry's originated in Stowe, Vermont itself. So we are at the original building that produces this awesome ice cream. So they usually have factory tours of the inside, um, but you know, unfortunately because of COVID, those are still closed. So we'll have to come back for that. But they still have this window open and this big beautiful courtyard where well, you can have, enjoy your ice cream. Yeah, they have a lot of fun like little stops outside here. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna explore around here and then afterwards we're gonna go to the Flavor graveyard. Yes, so. we're gonna go see where old flavors go to die. I know. I'm kind of. I'm like, what a cute idea. <laughs> Welcome to the flavor graveyard. <laughs> Cue the lightning. <laughs> okay, what do we have? Start right here. Oh, Dave Matthews Band Magic Brownies. What is that? Wonder what's in those. First Dave. was too vanilla. I see you, Dave. Honey, I'm home. Apparently didn't have a very long life. 2002 to 2002, it must not have been that good. It was so young. We have a coconut almond fudge chip, which apparently resurrected three times. I would have liked this flavor. I would definitely get this still right now. It's a white Russian based ice cream. Definitely something I would So order. it's funny uh, that you mention that because on the Ben & Jerry's website, uh -huh. you can go and you can vote to resurrect some of these flavors. Really? Oh, okay, okay. Now in front of the pearly gates, Holy cannoli sits and waits. What brought its ruin, no one knows. It must have been the pistachios. Right then, is it dead or is it? No, it isn't. Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Rubbish, you're a loony. No, I'm not. Very good, very impressive. I think you should become Thank an actor you. otherwise. Thank you. You're very welcome. Voice acting's in my future. <laughs> so, Ben, out of all the flavors in the graveyard, which one would you want to resurrect? That's a good question. Probably creme brulee. That Ooh. really good, yeah. That would be very good as yeah. well. There's some other interesting ones in here. Some not so good ones. Like wavy gravy is the name of an ice cream. It's just it's not so very good. <laughs> but yeah, this is so fun to see all the old flavors that they had. Even back in from the 80s. I've been finding that I'm just observing some people walking through here kind of somberly. I feel it's like just because it is, it is a graveyard. Like pay your respects. Some people yeah. are still walking around with their hands crossed in front of them like naturally. <laughs> I think it's really funny. <laughs> Thank you for visiting our dear lady pointed. So that wraps up our time in Stowe, Vermont. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. It's been a really lovely weekend and we've already said that 
we really want to come back here again someday soon. Oh, absolutely. There's so much more to do here than what we showed here today. So if you have any other suggestions for a place people should visit while they're here in Stowe, make sure to include them down below so they can see them. Mm -hmm. um, and as always, make sure to like this video down below and subscribe for more videos coming very soon from the Northeast. And with that, we will see you very soon. Bye, guys. <laughs> <laughs> She's 26, everyone, pretty soon. <laughs>